Today I'm going to show you 15 rec room settings that new players need to know. Let's get right into it. When you go to settings, the very first setting is going to be in comfort. And I cannot tell you how many people ask me how I get the little black circle off my screen. And it's called Vignette. When Vignette is on, you can see that there's a little like shaded black circle around my vision as I run. And you can just fix this by going into comfort and turning off all Vignette mode and you will no longer have that shadow around your screen. The next setting is going to be for people with microphones who don't want to always have their mic on and that you can go to push to talk. On VR you can hold down on the right stick and that will enable your microphone and you can just disable it anytime you let go of the stick. And if you listen you can hear this kind of beeping noise when you hold down the stick. That means your mic is enabled and you can just let go to disable it. Also in the audio settings is voice pitch and this is for people who don't feel comfortable using their normal voice in rec room so they can either change the pitch lower of their voice or higher and that affects what the players around you hear. And now we can just take a look at the control tab where we see choose turn between smooth and snap turn. Now snap turn is recommended for new VR players in general. But I prefer smooth turn because, well, it, it's just smooth. And your turns are more precise, unlike snap turn, where you just kind of got to hope that you turn to the right location. But also in snap turn, you can either do a 45 degree angle or you can do a 90 degree angle. And if you don't like that little animation of turning, you can just start turning instantly. This next one is for people who have way too many friends and they're just always getting random invites and stuff. You can actually appear online to no one or even just favorites. And appearing online to only favorites means that only favorites can see when you're online and nobody else can even send you like requests to join or invites or anything like that. The next setting is in audio and you go down to voices I can hear. This affects all other player voices you can hear so you can turn on none and that means you won't be able to hear any voices in the game or you can make it so you can hear the players in your party, your favorite friends, your friends, or all players. Speaking of invites, if you go over to the notification tab, you can turn either off all watch notifications, which I don't recommend, or you can turn off any of these. Like, you can pick and choose which ones you want to turn off. Like, if you want to turn off invites, you can turn off invites. If you want to turn off cheers, you can turn off cheers. You can basically pick and choose which notifications you want to get on your watch and which ones you don't. Also in the notification tab is notify me when friends come online. If you have a lot of friends, I recommend turning this off, but I just have it on so I know when my favorite friends are online. And that setting basically means that whenever one of your friends gets on Rec Room, you get a little notification that pops up around right here telling you that blank 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 is online. Then in the miscellaneous tab, you have try to match make me with non-junior players. And this setting right here is for people who always get stuck in junior account lobbies where no one can talk to them, no one can friend them, just stuff like that. So this setting makes sure that, oh, uh, where'd my settings go? But this setting tells Rec Room that you'd most likely want to be in a lobby with non-junior players. We actually have two settings right here in visuals where show voice lines. So that means, for example, Hold on, let me pull out my streamer cam. As you can see, I have like these voice lines coming out of my mouth whenever I talk. By going into this setting, you can just turn that off. And remember, that's in visual settings. And now, as you can see, there are no voice lines coming out of my mouth when I talk. And this also works for all other players. Another one I demonstrate to you is show player names. But with my own streamer cam, it doesn't show my name anyway. So this is basically just seeing other players name tags in the game the next setting is an experience and it's measure height so when you go into measure height you measure and then you'll stick your arms out in like a t-pose symbol and it should tell how tall you are so let me just give it a try oh come on big money six foot six foot six bro are you kidding me oh yeah that's better looks good give me that so i didn't even really know that this next one was even a setting until a while ago but it's natural grip so that basically means that like natural grip you have to hold down the grab button in order to keep hold of the object i don't have it on like i thought i had it on so if i grab this i'm not holding down my grab button at all i'm not holding down my grip button but i'm still holding on now if i turn natural grip on if i let go of the hold button it just falls to the ground. 
I usually keep it off so I don't have to like hold down the grip button and break my finger, but you press, um, I think it's the top button on the right controller, I don't know what it is, I think it's B to let go of an object. This next setting is in streamer camera, where if you go to video settings, and you go to green screen, you can actually set a custom green screen on your streamer cam. So say if I set my streamer cam right here, it has a completely custom green screen behind me. And as you can see, if I just go into settings and I can turn off the green screen, I can turn it on and off. This is actually sick and it can be used for so many cool things. And the last beginner setting I'm going to show you today is VR UI size, which means the watch menu size. I have it at large just to like show like the whole setting screen, but you can turn it down to small if you want. And that appears on your watch as well, but if you turn it up to large, it'll just go up. Okay, there are a couple bonus settings that I want to show you guys that are pretty cool. The first one is grip turning, which means if you hold down both thumbsticks while walking forward, you can do a little steering motion to find out where you go. It's actually pretty cool. Skirt, skirt, hey, 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 I'm driving that thing. Skirt. The last setting is for people with the streamer cam. So what you want to do is you want to go to video settings and look at field of view. And if you look right there, you can see that tiny, tiny text that says 360 panorama 1080p. And if you click that, then this is what you see. And it's actually wild. Like, I have no idea what is going on. Just to show you how insane this is, you can basically see the entire room. Like right now, I'm standing right like in front of the camera and you can see like all around me. And right now I'm standing directly behind the camera and you can still see me on the far left side of the screen. 